122nd Thrifty Foods Victoria Day Parade. Bringing you all the color and excitement from the provincial capital are Stacy Ross and Joe Perkins, along with Ed Bain and Jeff King. Parade coverage is made possible by Thrifty Foods, Eat Happy, and Downtown Dental in the heart of downtown. Now, the 122-year tradition continues. The Thrifty Foods Victoria Day Parade. Good morning. After two long years, we are back. Welcome to beautiful downtown Victoria and Chuck's coverage of the 122nd Thrifty Foods Victoria Day Parade. We're coming to you this morning on this lovely May morning on the territories of the Lekwungen speaking people, the Wissanik, Esquimalt, and Songhees First Nations. I'm Stacey Russell. Great to be back. <laughs> and I'm Joe Perkins. Yes, a, a very long two year break, but here we are uh, live from Douglas Street across from City Hall, just outside the Joel Building at Pandora. And Douglas, you see the town crier there, Kenny Podmore, kicking things off. This is the continuation of a rich and deep and long tradition in the capital city. This is Czech's 60-second broadcast of this parade. It's an amazing run of some incredible community spirit. Stacy and I are under a somewhat warm tent. A few minutes ago, <laughs> we did feel a couple of raindrops. But let's check in with Jeff and Ed out on the parade route. Is it raining, gentlemen? How are you doing? Ed, you did call for Hello. sun. Yeah, yeah, oh, I'm very aware of that. Uh, you made me and everyone else down here more aware of that than, than I care to recall. But yeah, a slight little shower chance. We're getting a, a few drips, a few drips out here, and we're two of them. So that's right. Yeah, we've got the we've got the floats, we've got the bands, and we've yeah. got the clowns. Well, yeah, we, we got, got the clowns. We so need. it's going to be a great break. Yeah. So excited to be back out here yeah. on Douglas Street. There he is, Kenny Parmore. There's Kenny Parmore, Parmore. Good buddy. The town there they crier. are. Oh, Happy we're Victoria have some fun Day today. Yeah, Kenny, how are you, buddy? <laughs> Let's just uh, check the excitement. Oh, by the way, yeah, I don't know if these mics are working yeah, properly, guys. We're gonna do it. Is everybody excited for the parade? You guys all excited? Oh, yeah. Excited. Okay, working. that's good. <laughs> it's, it's working. working. <laughs> all right, we'll throw it back to you guys before we get run over here. <laughs> Thank, All right. Thank you, Jeff and Ed. Uh, you just saw the town crier, Kenny Podmore, along with Rhonda Todrick, the town crier consort. Uh, many people know Kenny Podmore, the official town crier of Sydney since 2003. Two terms as a Sydney councillor. And look at this, Stacey. Yeah, absolutely. As we just watched the Grand Marshal Gordy and Ravinder Dodd go by, let's have a listen to this great badge. has a rich history of leading off every Victoria Day Parade and we're so pleased uh, this morning to have with us Chief Petty Officer Tim King to tell us a bit more about the military contingent, the proud military contingent that's such a wonderful part of each parade. Good morning Stacey Good Joe, morning. thanks for uh, having me here. Yeah, uh, the Nathan Band has participated in the Victoria Day Parade since the early 1940s and it is traditional for them to lead off the parade. They perform in a number of events through, uh, throughout Victoria throughout the year. In the next few months, they'll perform the Ladder Bad Fest, Victoria Jazz Fest, Beacon Hill Concert Series, and the Okanagan Military Tattoo. And Tim, who are we looking at here on the screen? So right on the screen now is the uh, 4th Canadian Ranger Patrol Group, led by uh, Lieutenant Colonel J.P. Roy. Commanding and now, officer. And this is something super exciting, uh, the, the mounted contingent here, Tim. That is correct. This is Lord Strathcona's Horse and Carriage. Uh, is a regular force armored unit based in Edmonton. Uh, this is a troop that performs the musical ride and other mounted tasks to pay homage to the regiment's rich cavalry history. Tim, what do you think these men and women are, are thinking about right now? It's been a very long time since we've been able to do this, and I know for many of them, this is something they look forward to every year, and we haven't been able to do it. They definitely do, and this is they're, they're proud and very happy to be here, happy to be back and showcasing their units and, and parading for their country. Talk us through, Tim, what sort of a morning of a parade would be like for, for some of these men and women. Uh, well, to start off with, it's probably a little bit chaotic, uh, <laughs> just because most of them are out of practice for the not being able to do it for the past two years. But uh, once once they get going, as, as military professionals are, uh, their, their commanders will get them ready to go and they'll 
be happy to be out on the parade. Sure they will. Who are we watching uh, go by in the carriage now, so Jim? So in the carriage is a, a Silver Cross family, Sheila and Sean Fines. Uh, they are the parents of fallen Strathcona soldier, Corporate Stuart Landridge. And the significance of the Silver Cross mother for those who don't know. So the Silver Cross mother and father are, are honored for uh, soldiers, sailors, aviators that are uh, have lost their lives and uh, and are honored by the by the country. Look at this big rig rolling Ooh. up Douglas Street or down Douglas Street. This is the Strathcona Mounted Troop uh, National Continental Pan American North American Masters. What a big uh, what a big rig. The horses are going in style, I'd say. All right, Tim, who have we got uh, coming up in their resplendent uniforms? So here you see the uh, CFB Esquimalt uh, marching contingent, which is joined today by Her Majesty's Canadian ship Malahat, Victoria's Naval Reserve Division. Uh, taking the salute on the dais is Captain Jeff Hutchinson, Commander of Canadian Forces Base Esquimalt. He's a reviewing officer. CFB Esquimalt is the third largest base in Canada by population with approximately 6,500 military and civilian defense team members. And what about this group just marching past here? So this is uh, members of CFB Esquimalt as well as HMCS Malahat. Following them are the Skyhawks, Canada's Armed Forces Parachute Team. And here come the bagpipers. You can hear them. Let's listen in to the beautiful sound of the pipes. Regiment Princess Mary's located here in uh, Victoria. They paraded the Bay Street Armories. They also have uh, units in Courtney and uh, Nanaimo. I don't know about you, Stacey and Tim. I, some people have goosebumps because it is a little cool. I get goosebumps every time I hear the pipes and the drums. <laughs> they sound you amazing. Bet. They do, and we're going to have much more from the 122nd Victoria Day Parade brought to you by Thrifty Foods, but we're going to take a short break. Stay with us. Thrifty Foods Victoria Day Parade and uh, we just in the commercial break saw our great Korean Veterans Association and we understand that our roving reporters courtesy of the Joan Wallace roving cam uh, have something for us Jeff and what is happening on the parade route? Well, the floats are beautiful, but boy, the uh, the audience is fantastic. The audience you want to talk great. about sparkle? Look at this. I'm telling you what, this could be the new upside jacket. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's what we need to go What's with. Your yeah. Sophie and Katie and Sarah and Thomas and Grayson. Well, and then down at the end yeah, here, I got this guy. look this at is this Cole. jersey. Cole, Who are you anything, cheering for? Anything you'd like to say for the uh, to the Edmonton <laughs> uh, Oilers fans? What? Is there anything you'd like to say to the Oilers fans? Uh, not really. Yeah, not really, no. Yeah. You're just wallowing in it just like the rest of the Flames players. I don't blame you. Yeah. Thanks, Cole. They'll get that next game. All right. Maybe. Thank you, Jeff and Ed. Those Flames fans still getting over last night. Uh, if you're just joining us, we're joined by Chief Petty Officer Tim King. Uh, Tim, who are we looking at here? So this is the Army, Navy, Air Force uh, color party uh, made up of uh, Army, Navy, Air Force members participating in the parade. Now, what's it like for these youngsters to be involved in, in this kind of event, Tim? This is uh, 
probably the highlights of, uh, of their year. Uh, they always enjoy coming out uh, and, and showcasing their unit pride uh, in front of uh, citizens of Victoria. I love watching the young ones, the up-and-comers, trying to stay in time with the marching. They're doing a fantastic job. Smiles <laughs> on their faces. <laughs> I think they're just are. excited to see all the people lining Douglas Street. They, they really are. Uh, we're so grateful to be bringing you to the parade this year from our, our great sponsors, Thrifty Foods and Downtown Dental. And a reminder, if you're watching at home, please connect with us. We are on Facebook. We're on YouTube. We're on Twitter. Use the hashtag Check Parade, and we'll be broadcasting some of your comments throughout the broadcast this morning. Uh, Fraser Highlanders uh, pipes and drums uh, from Fort Victoria. Oh, and they sound so good. There's nothing like a bagpipe in the morning, I tell you. And here we have some representatives of the, of the Esquimalt Military Family Resource Center, such an important resource for military families. They really them. are. They connect our families uh, with their deployed uh, loved ones and uh, do so much for the community. Yeah, they always say military families are the strength behind the uniform on the home front. They, they really are. Uh, we wouldn't be able to do what we do without our families, and the Military Family Resource Center is, is definitely one of those integral roles of, in our lives. I want to thank Noreen Coombs watching from Toronto this morning. Her daughter was marching with the Canadian Rangers, and Catherine Astrom watching from Winnipeg. Her son and her husband are with the Cameron Band. So, so thank you for watching. So what we have here is the uh, 39th Victoria Service Battalion parading out of uh, Ashton Armories located here in Saanich. They provide logistical and mechanical support to the military's international security efforts overseas and during domestic emergencies such as forest fires and floods and earthquakes. Uh, they also provide support to local community events such as the Army Cadets and scouting programs. We were talking before the broadcast, Tim, and I think for a lot of people, seeing trucks this large up close on Douglas Street, that, that's not something you see very often. Not so often, no, and then with the uh, olive drab green, it definitely <laughs> makes it stand out. <laughs> Just while we have a second, uh, so grateful to the City of Victoria and Dennis Galiski and Adam Lang and Joel Properties for allowing us to be set up at this pristine location on Douglas Street right across from City Hall and uh, Sunbelt Rentals for our bird's eye view of this parade. And here we have uh, Corrections of British Columbia and their band. And we know this group participates in so many parades uh, n in normal times and non-COVID times throughout the year. So grateful that they're here with us for the 122nd edition of our Victoria Day Parade. Nice to see that the rain has held up. Oh, I probably shouldn't say that oh, word, Joe, rain. Did I just jinx it? Did I just jinx it? Oh, it? Oh, yeah. it? oh no, it's <laughs> going to start pouring. What a beautiful day we had yesterday. The sun was shining, and uh, it looks like I think we're going to get these clouds breaking a little later. But uh, just a wonderful turnout, too. I mean, I I'm not sure if you can tell at home, but if you look down Douglas Street from where are we are, just across from City Hall, the streets are just lined with people like we had many years ago before we took that little break so it's so great to be back and i'd like to thank tim so much to chief petty officer tim king for being with us and offering your expertise as we uh, enjoy our military contingent here in the parade tim really appreciate you coming by thank you so much for having me thank you tim and here we're looking at the song he's uh, nation and local services here and they're a very nicely decked out vehicles now i think I think we might have coming soon thrifty foods. I can hear a rumble. I can there is the rumble of that big thrifty foods 
truck and oh my gosh Swifty Foods what can you say about the community partnership of this company uh, since they first opened their doors way back in 1977 and a reminder they're always looking for folks to join the team so if uh, if you're interested and if you're looking to spruce up your garden, they're happy as BC Grown Garden Sale is on until the 25th right now. How's your garden looking, Stacey? Well, you know, as far as invasive species and weeds are concerned, <laughs> uh, my thumb is as green as green can be. <laughs> Otherwise, though, not so much. But, uh, but boy, we live in a city that's full of beautiful gardens. And no I doubt will, about that. I will say uh, Thrifty's, I believe, has their, their special <clears throat> massive shopping cart coming a little later so we do have yes. more from our title sponsor this year for the 122nd victoria day parade brought to you by thrifty foods and this is the victoria police department yep founded in 1858 of course they serve Esquimalt and victoria they are the oldest municipal police department in canada and i believe ed is standing by with victoria police chief del manick yeah, we got Del Manic here. Del, good to see you. You're looking great as always. No, I'm uh, staying in that great condition. Look at you. Do you know what? I uh, follow. Uh, you're my role model. I follow <laughs> yeah, your path. Yeah, really. That's what I do. <laughs> well, great to see you in the force out here. You've got your hands full uh, many days, but this is a joyous day today to celebrate uh, all that's great about Victoria, and uh, we're great to see. You. We're happy to see you out here. No, uh, thank you for that, Ed. Uh, great community spirit. Great event. It's a showcase event of the year. So good to be past COVID and see all these families and kids yeah. and celebrating Victoria Day. So, all yeah. right. Well, thanks again. Thanks for not handcuffing me for a change. <laughs> go, go Vic PD. And the, and the night's young. The night's yeah, young. yeah, that's right. Anything could happen. <laughs> Back to you guys. As the chief takes off running down Douglas Street, good to see you, chief. And behind them, you will see the riders in this 25th year of the Canadian Cancer Society, Cops for Cancer. Tour to Rock. This is a big year for the tour because the last two years, Stacy, they didn't have the tour as it we know it with the riders uh, riding the full 1,200 kilometers down the length of the island. But they are back this year, and look at them in their new, their new uniforms, bright yellow, blue. They look good. They're ready to go. Oh, and Joe, I mean, you've done the Tour de Rock. Ed has done the Tour de Rock. I mean, just talk a minute about how much it means for these guys to be back in the saddle and getting geared up to go. Oh, it's, it's one of the most incredible experiences of my life, being able to see the island and raise money for kids battling cancer, sending kids to Camp Good Times. And it's a special moment, and they're going to have a, a, a great 25th year this year. Here is... Elizabeth May and her dog. <laughs> <laughs> there she is giving us a, w a wave. Elizabeth May, the MP for uh, Saanich Gulf Islands. She's been an MP since 2011. Leader of the Greens from 2006 to 2019. So good to see her back out here on the parade route this year. All right, uh, we're going to get back to our live coverage of the Thrifty Foods Victoria Day Parade, the 122nd edition. But uh, for now, a quick break. We'll be right back. Nothing represents Thrifty Foods community pride more than the spirit of Victoria and the 122nd Thrifty Foods Victoria Day Parade. Our community support also includes the Send Isle program and the Community Action Fund, created to help support immediate needs in the towns we serve. All of us at Thrifty Foods are so excited to see families line the streets of Victoria again. Whether you would like to join our Thrifty Foods team or simply shop in our stores, we hope to see you soon at your local Thrifty Foods. Welcome back to Tech Live coverage of the 122nd Thrifty Foods Victoria Day Parade. And oh my gosh, Joe, when you talk about my favorites in the parade, this is right up there. It's got to be top two for sure. The Victoria Day Fire Department Historical Society entering with the 1899 water steamer. Three beautiful Shire horses pulling and they got antique fire trucks coming up. But oh, I love the horses. I can't I can't lie. So this is known as the Red Firm and it was named after <laughs> Mayor Charles E. Red Firm uh, back in 1899 because uh, they thought that it would help council or it would help with the budget of getting this thing from Ontario so they named it after the mayor, Redford, <laughs> and the name stuck. But look how beautiful that oh. is with the horses. A highlight for many people every year. It sure is. Oh, absolutely spectacular. A little shout out uh, to the marshals of the parade. 
marshalling the parade for the 13th year of the local Lions Club, the uh, Squamalt Lions, taking the lead this year. They're overseen by Greg Shaw. So thank you so much to the Lions. Also want to give a shout out to Ken Patterson watching from Northern Ireland, Moira, Northern Ireland. Ken, thank you for being Ken. with us on this Victoria Day. Christina's uh, watching and so is Kevin from Penticton. Loves the bagpipes. Watching on Check Plus, our new streaming service. And a big shout out to Diane from Chilliwack. Her son-in-law is with the Canadian Rangers. Keep the comments coming. We love to see them. At Check News, uh, sorry, at Check underscore News on, uh, on Facebook. It's facebook.com forward slash check news. Oh, Keep those comments oh, coming. We're going to check in with Jeff on the Joan Wallace Driving School roving cam. I believe Jeff is out there somewhere. There he is. Hey, Jeff. Hey, guys. Yeah, I'm with Bob Marshall here. Bob, what are we, what, what are we driving here? 37, uh, sorry, 35 Street Baker. Wow. So you guys do all the upkeep. It's all retired uh, members that do all the upkeep and look after these machines? Yeah, that's true. We. Uh, we meet once a week and look after them, keep them shiny, and and uh, occasionally we restore them too. So nice to be back out on the parade, I'm sure. It is, yeah. We it's been a few years now, I guess. But. Yeah. Well, thanks, Bob. Enjoy your day, bud. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, Jeff, and thanks to Joan Wallace Driving School for allowing us to bring you the roving camera. Now, Joan hopes your summer road trip is safe and sound this year. Uh, the Dart Driving School, established in 1976. They've been using hybrid cars since 2005, ahead of the curve for them. As we look at these beauty antique fire trucks, so much work involved in keeping these things running and so spectacular. And it's a trip down memory lane, almost in chronological order here. We started with the Red Fern and now we're working our way through <laughs> the beautiful trucks that we've had serving this great city for many years. And we see the, the new trucks rolling in near the back. They're gonna have a new home on Johnson Street very soon when that new fire hall is done. You are watching the Thrifty Foods Victoria Day Parade on check, the 122nd edition. We're gonna take a quick break, more from Douglas Street in this great parade when we come back. broadcast of the Victoria Day Parade brought to you this year by Thrifty Foods. We've been watching uh, some of the great oh. municipal fire trucks, 12 municipal trucks with the muscular dystrophy banners have been participating in this parade since 1975. And you will often see the firefighters out there with their hats, oh. hats turned up looking for donations to uh, support muscular dystrophy research and treatment. Let's head it back onto the parade route and find out where our friends Ed and Jeff are just now. Thanks for your service. Well, we are right here at the mayor's podium here, uh, at, uh, Joe and uh, Stacy, and look who we have right here, the we, mayor herself. Yeah, Lisa Helps, a.k.a. Pizza. Yeah, pizza, I always yeah. have to call her pizza. How nice is it to have this parade back going again? It is so awesome. I rode the parade route from the, the beginning to here and people are so happy all along the way and it's great to have the bands and the kids and the military it's yeah it's an exciting day well i was just going to say we can't leave but without showing those great matching I just, shoes i was just going to say this, the same huh? thing but mine have dc transit oh, oh there you go okay pizza's got one on me <laughs> i rode my bike in the parade and had buses on my shoes i was trying to make a point yeah. absolutely Let's <laughs> ride your bike there you go there you go there's Mayor Lisa Helps, guys. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, we just watched the Canadian Coast Guard, a huge float that was hand-built by Jeff Cox. Uh, a great entry every year in our parade. 
And a big round of applause right now to the Veselka Ukrainian dancers. For those who love Veselka and Ukrainian dance, uh, they perform in the community at various events. Veselka means rainbow, and you can see the, the bright colors on the uniforms. Obviously, um, this is... Uh, uh, we, we watch them come down the street with heavy hearts right now. We're all thinking about what's going on in Ukraine. Uh, our hearts go out to the uh, Ukrainian Canadians. We have so many of them here in our city. So a big round of applause uh, for the Veselka Ukrainian dancers who are under the talented artistic direction of Lisa Hall. Wonderful. Slava Ukraine, glory to Ukraine. We're thinking about you and sending our best to everyone. Freemasons of BC and the Yukon. They do such great, great work, been serving the community for decades and decades. And we're so grateful to have them in, parade, in the parade this year. And coming up next on your screens, you'll see the Giza Shriners of BC and Yukon. They've been part of the Victoria Day Parade for over 60 years. This year, leading the Shriners and Clown Unit with his entourage is the illustrious Sir Noble Ron Yates. Locally here in town. Hi, Ron. Big wave. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Ron. <laughs> uh, locally, the Shriners provide youth with mobility issues and transportation to and from our hospitals. And here they go, some beautiful cars. I think there was some car washing ha happening in the sun yesterday. <laughs> Great day so. to get the cars spruced up for the big parade today. Well, here is a, a, an entry that we see every year. We're so uh, happy that the Shriners are with us, of course. And right behind, uh, decked out in purple, Job's Daughters, celebrating 100 years this year. It's a wonderful organization. It started back in Omaha in 1920, expanded here to Canada in 1931. That's for girls aged 10 to 19, but they welcome girls as young as eight years old in their Joby to Be program. So lots of fun to be had by all, and you know, members uh, do lots of great things. They, they develop organizational and leadership skills and so much more. Ed, Jeff. All right, we've got some great fans of the parade here. Let's meet everybody. So your name? Gabby. And your name? Audrey. And your name? Emily. And your name? Alexis. Alexis. What do you guys like best about the parade? What did you like so far? All the different places. All the different places. How about you? All the horses. All the horses. Yeah. Did you bring any snacks with you? You got any snacks? Yeah, a lot, a lot, hey, look, a lot. there's a clown. Oh, oh there's two. <laughs> <laughs> two clowns. Two clowns, yeah. Two clowns. Yeah, they're right here. Honk, honk. Thank you. Ah, there. Now I got oh, the there nose. There you go. That's what I there need. There you go. There Finally we go. the nose you deserve. Let get me that get that thing baby on. on. <laughs> oh, thank you. I there, you now you we're complete. Well, I thought it was fitting that when the Shriner clowns rolled in, we threw it over to Ed. <laughs> <laughs> you, they, they called for it. They called for that train you saw, by the way. The uh, Smoky Loki, that was built, uh, I believe, around 1960 in Cobble Hill. Just a great looking train. So thank you to the Victoria Shrine clowns. And as you can see, we have a, a bit of a break, which tends to happen. I mean, people, if it was me, I'd be going slow. I'd be wanting to wave to everybody, <laughs> soak it in. I mean, it's been so long since we've done this, but we're gonna take a quick break as we let some of those floats catch back up. You are watching the 122nd edition of the Victoria Day Parade brought to you by Thrifty Foods this year. We'll be back after this quick message.
checks live coverage of the Thrifty Foods Victoria Day Parade, and we're back just in time to hear the Reynolds Secondary School Band Year 55 for this great group. School, as you mentioned, Stacey, 55 years. And I have to apologize for the table shaking. Those are my, my feet tapping. I don't know how I can keep my feet on the ground. I love listening to these marching bands. If you're watching at home and you're on social media, send us a message. We want to know where you're watching from. Thank you to Taylor Liss, watching from Edmonton, Alberta, waking up this morning, celebrating that big Oilers win last night. Uh, Dana's watching from the Songies in Sartlip. Thank you for watching, Dana. And from Fergus, Ontario, Bob Heens is watching next year. He says he will be back here, home on the island, to watch this all live. Thanks for watching, everyone. Well, great job by the Reynolds Band. Uh, we are lucky enough to be just about directly across the street from the judges' tent, so that's why the Reynolds Band stopping a little bit and uh, giving us a great show smart once move. again. Smart move. Very yeah. smart, Reynolds. Do it for the judges. I love the flags they're holding this year. Oh, I haven't so counted, good. but it looks like we have a flag from, I believe, every province and territory. And then we see some international flags at the back. There was a Ukrainian flag near the front. And the uniforms. I love the white pants. I mean, these are, this is a classic Reynolds uniform. Every year they roll these out. They look so good. So sharp. And of course, the bands and the music is one of the highlights of the parade for me. And sadly, our American bands haven't been able to make yeah. it up this year. We're just too close to the, uh, the COVID the COVID business has not yet been uh, been alleviated enough for them to make it up this year, but we're hopeful that our American friends will bring their bands up once again next year. But Reynolds is holding their own here, my friends. <laughs> they are representing the bands very, very well. Representing the annual Saanich Fair on from September 3rd to 5th, we have the North and South Saanich Agricultural Society. Come plant your roots at the annual Saanich Fair. Oh, that was always such a great fall event, a uh, highlight for the season for so many folks. And it really, it, it manages to, to be entertaining, you know, in, in a modern way, but it, it touches back to the roots and you can go there and you can see the exhibits and see the livestock and watch the horse show and mm -hmm. do all the midway stuff. It's just a great event. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's one of those events like the Victoria Day Parade that is just, it, it's built into the fabric of our community. Really you know, is. we've been doing this. This is the, the 62nd live parade we brought to you on check. And I'll tell you, every time I walk into check stays, I walk down the hallway and I see that black and white photo from probably more than half a century ago of a camera guy up in a bucket with a marching band and, and it you know I get goosebumps talking about it because here we are keeping the tradition alive with all these people lined up and down Douglas Street it's a special day and speak of the devil there's the Czech news entry and uh, our lovely electric vehicle and you know what we broadcast our first parade about six months after we went on the air for the very, very first time. So this parade has been part of our culture at Czech and the fabric of our company since the very, very beginning. And it's not just the Czech community cruiser. You're looking at Jessica McCool. She's the head of our promotions team and community relations, but 
Hi, Jessica, as she walks by handing out stickers. Uh, we also have Roller Skate Victoria. Roller Skate Victoria is a fantastic group. They're committed to contributing to the community through the promotion of roller sport, fitness, and performance art. And they are uh, just a wonderful group. They're very, very skilled on those wheels. And here they come now. Oh, it's great to have them on board. And uh, you know that the Victoria Day Parade is the third largest in Canada, only behind the uh, Calgary Stampede Parade and the Toronto Santa Claus Parade. And it is the longest running parade in the country. The very first Victoria Day Parade, May 24th, 1898, on Queen Victoria's 79th birthday. Lots to see on the parade route. Ed and Jeff, tell us more. Well, you're right. I mean, it's the 122nd Victoria Day Parade, the Thrifty Foods Victoria Day Parade, and number 24 for producer Mike Wallishan. Yeah, Michael has been a staple, and he's just about to uh, hang up his producer's cap and uh, walk out into retirement. And he's done 41 parades yeah. between the Victoria Day and the Christmas Parade every year. Uh, Michael wallishan has been uh, an absolute pro, and we're going to miss you, buddy. Uh, thanks for everything that you've done to make these parades uh, go over the past yeah. uh I don't know, 30 plus years? Well, he's years? done a 24 he's done. Yeah. Uh, but like you say, 41 in total. Right. If you, you include the uh, Christmas parade. What's it but... like for you, by the way? I mean, last oh, yeah. year you were in Joe's chair with a comfy yeah. recliner. But, you know. It's different. And now you're on the streets working. on the working. streets here. There's no luxuries. You know, but back in that booth there, you know, yeah. that luxury recliner, by the way, is also a massage recliner. So <laughs> yes. there's that. Okay. There's a fridge under that table that you there's don't know fridge? about. Oh, yeah. There's lots. Yeah. So. You know, frankly, I'm going to go try to work my way back there for next year. <laughs> I'm going to go back and see <laughs> <Yeah>. Joe. <laughs> There's plenty of room, you two. Come in here if you want to come <laughs> in here. We'd love to have you. All right, before we take a quick break, I just want to say uh, the ladies with the umbrellas, the, the Newcomers Club of Greater Victoria, I don't think they need the umbrellas because I'm looking up and it looks like we might get some sun yeah. here. And before that, Stace, we had... Yeah, the Couch and Lady of the Lake, the Lake Ambassador Program, and the royalty team this year, Mariah Segui, Lady of the Lake, Megan Robottom, First Princess, and Macy Anderson, the Second Princess. Don't go away. We're coming back after a short break. For over 40 years, Downtown Dental Victoria has been a permanent fixture in the historic Carnegie Building, so for us, it was only fitting to get involved. We've seen firsthand how things have changed over the past two years, and finally, there's light at the end of the tunnel. This signature parade is a big step forward in bringing people back to the downtown core. Our goal at Downtown Dental is to help you achieve your healthy, beautiful smile. And with help from the parade, we are seeing those beautiful smiles once again. We hope you enjoy the parade as much as we do. Welcome back to the uh, Thrifty Foods uh, Victoria Day Parade. We're looking at coastal heat pumps. Joanne and Don Gulevich, hoping everyone is enjoying the parade. They're giving us a little bit of a, um, a mist. I like it. It's refreshing. It is refreshing. Let's fire up those coolers a bit, those heat pump coolers. <laughs> uh, watching from San Diego right now, I want to give a big shout out to Lindy Berkowitz. Uh, she says, thanks to Thrifty Foods for sponsoring this awesome parade. And then in Wisconsin, I love seeing these comments from all over the world. From Wisconsin, Shannon Corvell. Hey, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, Shannon, but thank you for watching. And we have people watching from the Patchydat First Nation in Port Renfrew. And Peter Wakefield says, uh, and, and a message to you, Stacey, uh, Ronan from Men in Kilts, Victoria. They're coming up in a bit. Uh, <laughs> Peter got stuck in South Carolina. Couldn't get back in time. So he wants us to give them a big uh, shout out, and we absolutely will, Peter. Absolutely, no doubt. Uh, this, this group from Coastal Heat Pumps, they are very active in Rotary in the Sydney Chamber of Commerce, doing a lot for our community here. And again, my friends, we couldn't be bringing you this live coverage without our sponsors, our great sponsors, Thrifty Foods and Downtown Dental. HelloJet is helping us out with the marching moments and uh, the Joan Wallace Driving School allowing us to bring you that great roving cam that oh, we're looking at right now. This is a crowd favorite. Now, I am not a big uh, Star Wars guy. I know that is a stormtrooper, but this is the 501st Costume Clubs of BC. And when I say I'm not a big Star Wars guy, love Star Wars, but I just need to say that because I'm not an expert like some of our viewers, so I don't <laughs> want to get in trouble. With. But we have the, the Rebel Legion, I, I believe, the uh, Mandalorian Mercs are here, the Saber Guild, and the Droid Builders. This is an international fan-based organization to Star Wars and they have the best costumes on the island look at them right from Hollywood 
No, this is another great group that just thrills kids all over the place. They volunteer and give their time at charity events to raise money for kids and those in need. Bringing up the rear, I do know this, that was Obi-Wan Kenobi, I believe, with the lightsaber. <laughs> oh, and here's another crowd uh, favorite. Here come the penny farthing <laughs> bikes. They've been riding the parade since 1978 with Jack Lee and the team. Uh, the team includes Will Arnold, Mitch Gwinden, Liam Arnold, Nathan Ken, also known as the High Wheelers. And look at these go. I've never done this. Have you ever been on I, a penny oh farthing? Oh my gosh, I couldn't even climb up on one. I wouldn't have the first <laughs> idea what to do. I'm not a strong cyclist, Joe. <laughs> I don't think you'd want to start on a penny farthing. <laughs> no, I wouldn't think so. The name, I believe, came from the, the British penny and the farthing coins. And the coins were different sizes, hence you get the two different size wheels and you get the penny, penny farthing bikes. And, and I, I, you have to have a nice costume when you're on a penny farthing bike. I think bike. so. I something think that's classic. a requirement. Yeah, something classic for sure. Oh, they look great. What fun. Now, we've got a great crowd here, as you can see, a little bit lining Douglas Street here. About 50,000 people expected to turn out along the parade route this year. And, of course, everybody's so anxious to be back after missing the parade so much over these last couple of years. So everybody who's on the parade route and is watching from home, welcome. We're so glad you're here. Now, this is a big truck. This is Butler Concrete and Aggregate. They're a locally owned and operated company. They offer the cleanest and greenest concrete around. They've been the leading producer of sustainable building materials since the 1930s, so they've been in our community a very long time. Uh, Butler is also a strong supporter of many causes in our community. They always uh, give back whenever they're asked, and here they are on the 122nd uh, Victoria Day Parade, helping put smiles on people's faces with their big truck. And this is the Victoria Korean Community Association. Peng Mal Pei is a Korean folk music tradition. Six to eight people playing Korean traditional instruments. And hopefully we'll hear a bit of that in just a moment. But, uh, oh, the girls look lovely. Oh, don't they ever? Yeah, they really do. What beautiful, beautiful traditional costumes they're wearing. Shout out to Kelly Curta and her team at the Greater Victoria mm -hmm. Festival Society. They do such a great job putting on the parade every year. And boy, they've had their fair share of headaches overcoming COVID and all the challenges associated with that. Uh, but uh, Kelly and your team, thanks so much. Another great job this year. If this is your first time joining us for a, a live broadcast and the first time watching the Victoria Day Parade, this is one of the biggest parades in the country. You mentioned it earlier, Stacey. There's only two other parades that are bigger than this. It's the, the Christmas Parade in Toronto and the parade at the Calgary Stampede. And then right there in third place is the annual Victoria Day Parade in the capital city here in BC. So this is a big one. And as you, you know from some of the people watching, some of the people we've mentioned, people are watching from all over the world. And thank you for joining us and tuning in. Did you know, Joe, that Queen Victoria wasn't even supposed to be Queen Victoria? Actually, her first name is, wait a minute, I wrote it down, Alexandrina. Really? It's her name. And so the uh, officials, when she became queen as an 18-year-old, the officials had done up all the paperwork, all the documentation with her first name being Alexandrina. And she said, no, I want Victoria. So we could be broadcasting live from Alexandrina, British Columbia, as opposed to Victoria, British Columbia today. When you sit here and watch this, Stacey, you've been doing this many years. What what stands out for you? What's the, the most special part of this for you? Honestly, I think it's the energy. Is the it, energy yeah. of the groups. They just are so invested and so involved and seem to be having so much fun. And it's just, you know, it's a celebration of the associations and groups that they belong to. And it's a celebration of just being part of this wonderful community. I think it's the tradition for me, just keeping the tradition going. I mean, there, there are so many people watching at home who have probably been here. They've been part of the parade. They've come down at one point in their life. There's people from all uh, across Vancouver Island, up and down, that come down to the south end to be part of this in person. So I think the fact that this is the 122nd year we've done this as a community, uh, it just speaks to how strong our community is and how connected we are. And it's just a, it's a real honor and a privilege to keep this going for, for another year. Absolutely. Ed and Jeff, what's happening? 
Oh, we got the happening here right in the middle oh, sorry, of this taekwondo class here. They are breaking boards to breaking boards to beat the band. All right, if let's you will. get someone to break. Who's going to break a board for us right now? You're going to break He's a board. Gonna, all right. Okay. Go ahead. Let's see all what right, you got. Okay. What's board? What is your name? Akai. Akai. Okay. Do right. I hold this? Here we go. Yeah. No, I'm going to hold this one. You go ahead. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Okay, hang on, hang on, Ed. <laughs> yeah, let me, Ed? let me try. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, I missed the board. No, no, hit the board. Make sure you hit the board. Oh, my mistake. You okay, Phil? Oh, okay, sorry about man. that. Bang. <laughs> uh, lots of fun out there on the parade route with the Joan Wallace roving camp today. Uh, Carolyn writes in, thanks for providing coverage. Loved watching in person as a kid with my dad, Al, who would record every highlight on his eight millimeter now reliving those great moments from the Comox Valley. Thanks Caroline for watching. And if you're watching send us a note. We'd love to hear from you. You can do it on Twitter check underscore news or you can do it on Facebook facebook.com forward slash check news. Don't go away. We will return to our live coverage of the 122nd Thrifty Foods Victoria Day Parade after a short break. to you live from the corner of Pandora and Douglas across from City Hall right outside the Joel building and I'm looking down Douglas Street Stacy and I think the crowd is getting larger we've been sitting here for about an hour and it is it looks to me like it's almost doubled in that time yes no I think you're right uh, I think I mentioned earlier expecting about 50,000 people and the weather has held off it's getting brighter and brighter it's very pleasant considering the spring weather we've had I think uh, everybody will take it as far as weather for a beautiful Victoria Day Parade this year we're looking at the uh, Victoria Korean Community Association right now as they continue uh, with, with their floats and entries in this year's parade. And it was on Victoria Day in 1868, the date of the very, very first Victoria Day Parade, when Victoria was proclaimed the capital of BC. 1,500 people celebrated that announcement at Beacon Hill Park. When was the last time we had 1,500 people all at once in Beacon Hill Park? It's been a while. <laughs> that would have been a party. <laughs> Across from us is the judging table. We can see uh, Mayor Lisa Helps, the Mayor of Victoria, and the town crier standing, watching. Woo! And a big round nice. of applause for that performance. There she is, standing next to the table there. And you were right, I think the clouds are breaking here. I mean, we had just a fantastic day yesterday. The sun was shining, it was warm, well above 20 degrees, and we've been waiting for uh, weather like that for a while. And hopefully here, uh, we get a bit more of that sun, but nobody is complaining. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Again, the entry from the Victoria Korean Community Association. As I was commuting downtown, I was heading past Mayfair, and I, I saw some of these, these young kids walking to get in position. And you could tell, just by looking at their faces, how excited they were to be part of this. I mean, I, I, I think I speak for everyone. I say we have been waiting a very long time. It's been two years since we've had a live parade like this in person, everyone together. So uh, you can feel it. I mean, there's an excitement in the air. There's a buzz. Uh, downtown is coming back, and it's, it's great to see. It really is. 
And thanks to our judges, too, who are uh, volunteering their time to be part of the parade. And it can be a pretty competitive business, these uh, parades. So we appreciate the judges and the very, very difficult decisions they have to make today. And if you're wondering why some of the floats stop, like we just saw with the young Korean dancers in front of, uh, you know, that location there, that's because that's where the judges are. I mean, if you're going to pull out your big routine <laughs> anywhere <laughs> along the route, that is where you want to save the performance is for the judges. Yes, and I think uh, Ed has jumped on board one of these that's nicely decorated lot. vehicles. Ed, what you got? We got George Jensen or the, the jet, right? Yeah. <laughs> Here's yeah. George Jensen. Yeah, well, that's, it. A, that's it. You got a great float here. You got a great, tell us about your car. This is the last season of Western Speedway, so that's going to be kind of emotional as well, I would think. Yeah, it's really tough. I've been out here since I was 10 years old, so wow. I, it's been a long time, and it's it's hard uh, to swallow this uh, last year at the track, but there's a lot of stuff happening right now, a lot of po po positive stuff um, yeah. on a new track. Next race, you know anything about that? Uh, the next race for us is up in Saratoga, uh, and then we're back here. The big night is uh, Strawberry Cup on right. uh, in June. That'll be a good uh, a night for everybody to come out. That's come support the track. It's the last year of the track. It's been around for a long, long time. Love the shirt, George. You got the checkered shirt. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. if, you can't, if you can't get the flag, at least get the shirt. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I've had a few of the flags too. <laughs> I'm sure you have. Yeah. All right. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of positive stuff coming for the track. A lot of positive stuff coming awesome. up. Uh, How long, Stacy, do you think it took to put each one of those little red and black, whatever you want to call those little, <laughs> little balls? Pom -poms. But, yeah, pom poms. That's a good word for it. A while. A little while, but they look so good. Oh, do they ever. Oh, and these cars are just spectacular. The 45th year of these vintage race cars that that range in age from 1928 to 1939. And I love seeing the kids, like, you know, we see the kid sticking his head out the back there. That is something he's going to remember for the rest of his life. And you hope that when he gets older, he comes back and he uh, takes part in this. It's something you never forget. No, and it really is a family thing. Yeah. You know, it, when you go to Western Speedway, if you haven't had a chance to go, it's families who are out there in the pit crews working together to to have some fun and, and build these great cars. I got to say, when I watch the old timers race, though, I always have a little bit of tension because <laughs> because they're so beautiful in these vintage cars and they if they get into it and they start to to you know to bump and rub up, it's like oh man, <laughs> save the car. <laughs> and you're right. I mean, if you haven't been out to Western Speedway for a race night, it is fantastic. Yeah, and you've got this is your last chance to do it. Uh, as most of us know, the track will be will cease to exist at the end of this mm -hmm. season, so uh, you got a chance to go out there and experience a little bit of history. The, the track has been a big part of the, the history and the environment and the community out on the West Shore for many, many, many years. So we'll be sad to see it go, but hopefully there are plans in the works for a new one. Thank you for joining us this morning. This is the 100 22nd edition of the Thrifty Foods Victoria Day Parade. If you're watching online on Facebook, on YouTube, uh, if you're on Twitter, send us a comment, send us an email. We'd love to hear from you. We want to know where you're watching from. We're getting lots of comments from people all over the world, which we love to see. One of the angles that we are taking this in from is uh, our eye in the sky, and that is courtesy of Sunbelt Rentals. They're our bird's eye view uh, of this parade, and it really, I mean, it's one thing to see it from uh, down on the ground, but to get up in the air, that's a whole different vantage point, and uh, we want to thank Sunbelt Rentals for, for making that possible. I do want to mention, as I look down the way here, that the uh, men in kilts, Victoria, are, are just about uh, in front of us here. And Peter Wakefield, the owner, <laughs> Stacy, he, he is in a plane right now, just sent us a note somewhere over Atlanta. <laughs> So, Peter, we can tell you, your team is, uh, they are doing a fantastic job as they uh, work their way down Douglas Street. Thanks for writing in. We really appreciate it. And thanks to the Old Timers Racing Association. So many cars out to take part in this parade. And uh, it is a lot of work, and it's all volunteer, and they do it because they love it, and they want to show off their beautiful cars. So thanks for being part of it. Want to give a birthday shout-out to Eddie who is uh, watching. It's Eddie's ninth birthday. Thank you to Chantel for sending that in. And Nancy Gill's watching from Mission BC. And Grandma Rose and Uncle George watching all the way from Sudbury, 
Ontario waiting for the Colquitts marching band. We all are. And there they are, the men in kilts. They've been in the community for about uh, 10 years, it's I believe. Is it their 10th anniversary? Yeah, it is. This uh, business has been using their superpower of putting smiles into the world, one kilt and one puppy kiss at a time. I remember 10 years ago when people started uh, working on homes wearing kilts and it was uh, it, it was a talker back then a lot of people saying who are these uh, men and men in kilts what, what are they doing and you see the uh, their shirt say no peeking they clean you enjoy no peeking that's their slogan and uh, they've uh, given back to our community for the last decade so thank you to men in kilts and congratulations on your 10th anniversary in Victoria and thanks for bringing out Ronan, he's a rescue pup and mascot for the men in kilts. Uh, always great to see the four-legged furry friends along the parade route. And I mentioned our hardworking judges a few minutes ago. Our judges this year, Kim Breland, Cheryl Wurch Rickman, and Paul Buscheny. So thank you so much for volunteering your time and um, deciding Deciding on uh, who's going to be the winners. Everybody's a winner. Everyone's in the a winner. All right. Speaking of winners, let's uh, go over to Ed and Jeff, who are, I believe, by the judging table. Yeah, it's so judgmental to start off with. Yeah. And here you are on the judges' <laughs> table. Kim Breland is here with us right now. I'm great. What are you looking for? Oh, everything. The, the, the enthusiasm, the energy of being back after two years yeah. after a pandemic. We've been shut down. This is so exciting to be back at the judges' table to welcome everybody back from the community. Good stuff. Thank you, Kim. And we just watched Amanda and Mike List go by driving a 1955 Nash Metropolitan. Uh, Amanda List is the owner of that. It's uh, British made and Nash built the car especially for the women of the house. Let's have a listen, my friends, now to the brilliant Spectrum Community School Marching Band. For me, one of the best attractions here on the Victoria Day Parade. That oh. was Spectrum Community School Marching Band. 115 members in step, and it's compri uh, comprised of students from grades 9 to 12. So thank you. This is their 16th year participating in the Victoria Day Parade. And for someone who can't even walk and talk at the same time, I can't imagine walking and playing a musical instrument at the same time. So I have the utmost respect for those young musicians for doing what they do. I, I thought you were talking about me. <laughs> I'm in the same boat. I just, I can't, my leg keeps moving. Every time they walk by, I'm tapping my feet. How about this? We got some dirt bikers out here yeah, putting on a show. We sure do. And just prior to this, we saw our St. John's Ambulance Division 176 uh, working so hard for our community. But indeed, this is the Victoria Motorcycle Club started way back in 1906 and they are now 500 members strong. All kinds of motorcycles. They'll be participating in the annual Island Prostate Motorcycle Ride to Live on September 11th. I'll tell you, they make it look so easy too. And I, I don't uh, ride a motorcycle or a dirt bike, but I imagine when you go slow like that, I think it's even harder. And look at as, as a wheelie goes by in front of, in front of us. They're very talented. Careful, Ed and Jeff. <laughs> They're getting a little close. And for those who have watched our parade coverage in the past, you may recall that this is the time in the program when something death-defying 
happens involving one of our roving friends. Now, from a human resources perspective, should we only have one of them take part in this? I mean, the upside needs to live on here. Should it, do we want both of them doing this? Or, Ed, Jeff, over to you. What's, what's going to happen here? Yeah, well, I mean, I told Ed when, uh, when he signed up for this gig that uh, we were going to get jumped by some bikes. And by the way, uh, the company wants you to sign this waiver. If you don't oh. mind signing that, uh, they're not responsible for anything that All could happen right. to us uh, okay. right now. All right. If it wasn't for the $11 danger pay, I would not be doing well, this, you know. It is the extra pay. Yeah. All right, you want the front or the back? Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, Thomas. All right, Thomas. So, uh, you can clear two of us? I guess we'll find out. I yeah. guess we'll find out, All he right. said. All there right. we go. There that was we go. a legitimate question. Quickly <laughs> on your back. No. Oh, my God. Oh, I hate this part. From what we know of Ed, his heart is pounding right now. Oh, my right God, now. there's three of them, Joe. He's a, we love him, but he's a bit of a scaredy cat. I love so this. So he's going to be freaking out right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, the crowd is going wild. Oh. <laughs> How are you? Well, oh my I'm, gosh. I'm upright. That's the main thing. <laughs> I was just I'm never doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> never doing that. Well done, you two. Oh, good job, guys. Where's well, that 11 bucks? <laughs> Give us that. <laughs> Ed, did you close your eyes or your eyes open or closed? We need to know. Closed. Cl closed oh, yeah, the whole okay. time. <laughs> they were closed. Um, All right. We're going to give uh, give ourselves a chance to bring our heart rates back down to a somewhat normal level. We'll be back with the 122nd Thrifty Foods Victoria Day Parade in just a moment. Welcome back to the 122nd Thrifty Foods Victoria Day Parade. I'm Joe Perkins here with Stacy Ross, and we are into our second hour of live coverage along Douglas Street. We're just across from City Hall right now, and it gets more exciting every minute we're on air. If you're just joining us, uh, Ed and Jeff were just on the ground, and they had, was it a dirt bike? It was a dirt bike that jumped over them. Yeah, it sure was, and uh, I, I didn't hear, hear uh, Ed scream even once. No. <laughs> Maybe he was holding his breath. <laughs> no, he did a very good job. We want to uh, give a big shout out to Downtown Dental, uh, providing healthy and beautiful smiles in Victoria for 40 years, as well as Thrifty Foods, our title sponsor this year. They first opened their doors in 1977. And we are uh, going to continue bringing you the sights and sounds until this parade wraps up. We've got a lot more to go. This is hero work, and they've got the music blasting and having a great time dancing. And it looks like the crowds, they're moving. They're enjoying it. Yep, we just saw our friends at Bluebird Cabs go by. But let's listen to the music uh, that Hero Works is providing for us now. Enjoy. Great big Dodd trucks. Gordy Dodd, of course, is the Grand Marshal of this year's parade. You can't have a parade in the city of Victoria without Gordy Dodd. You absolutely cannot. Gordy does so much for the community. Not only is his business the number one furniture and mattress related to Taylor and has been for 45 years here on Vancouver Island, 
he just does so much work. And we should also mention that Hero Work, they were the ones providing that great soundtrack. Hopefully you're moving in your living room at home, tapping those feet. But Hero Work is the official charitable organization of the Thrifty Foods Victoria Day Parade. They are the charity in this region that renovates other local charities. All right, here we have the India Canada Cultural Association of Victoria. They're a nonprofit society and their goal is to celebrate and raise awareness about the power, diversity and color of India's rich cult culture. And boy, are they doing it this morning. I love the dancing. I love the colors. And here comes the Victoria Marine Rescue Society, a group of volunteers who dedicate their free time to running the Royal Canadian Marine Search and Rescue Station number 35. These folks say they're on call 24-7, 365, any marine emergency, and you can have that come to your aid. I, I, you don't want it coming to your aid? But, <laughs> but if knowing you, it's it, there. But it's good to know it's there. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, our, our friends on the Zodiac there are giving us the, the royal wave. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the work you do in keeping us safe on our waters. Well, we've got a, a big rig coming down here, and it's a little difficult to tell from here, but I believe that belongs to uh, Mr. Parade himself. <laughs> Just like Gordy died, you can't have a parade without Gordy. You can't have a parade without Rob Gailey. You cannot of anybody who does it. Rob Gailey knows how to put on a float and get one in the parade and wow everyone. The animatronics and the characters we're going to see shortly. But now we're looking at some of the thousands who have lined the parade route. And uh, looks like we're doing some. Oh, you know what? That is one of our cameramen, Johnny, who's going to go up on that float, hopefully, and give us the most brilliant. Oh, and there we see. How did I not suspect this? Our own Ed Bain is up on the float uh, with Rob Daly. Ed? Yeah, I, and you know what? I had to have the step ladder to get up here to be honest with you. I'm a little shaky up here. Rob, how you doing? Very good today. What a great day to have a parade. Well, and you're always in these, and you, and you always have the stunning floats. Tell us a bit about this one. Yeah, well, this one's, uh, you know, a little last minute this year. Uh, we are so behind at the farm, and uh, luckily we have a big crew to keep us going. Um, but yeah, we, we put this together starting on Friday. Well, it looks terrific. You got the big engineer, of course, uh, you know, celebrating your train out there, Gailey Farms. Your dad's with you as always. Yeah, yes. Ray, my dad, Ray. We're getting older. <laughs> Good to see you, Ray. Well, happy Victoria Day, and thanks for always being a part of not only this parade, but all the parades. You make such a difference. Yeah, it was so great to see all the people back and the families and the kids. What a great day. Back to you guys. Thank you, Ed. We didn't mention them. Amazing that Ed was able to get up there. I don't know if you saw it. It wasn't even a ladder. He just jumped. He just bent his knees and <laughs> flew on up there. Absolutely. He's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> he knows that wasn't true. I oh. uh, want to give a big shout out to everybody watching all around the world. We have folks in Ireland, in the States, Wisconsin. Uh, lots of folks watching from Ontario. Got a note here from uh, the Premier watching today. Excellent. Joining us for this coverage. So thank you to Premier Horgan for joining us for this 122nd Thrifty Foods Victoria Day Parade. The question now, is that down? I was going to say, <laughs> it's easy to get up, and how do you get down? That's the tough part. Good to see you made it off okay. Yeah, absolutely. Gee, do you think these guys are having any fun? I think so, and why not? There you got the hay bales. There's so much going on at Gailey Farms, really. It, it, we couldn't explain it all, even if we had an hour and a half to talk about the, the work that Gailey's, Rob Gailey's and his family and his team are doing out there in challenging, challenging conditions. He's a farmer first and foremost, and they've been dealing with a lot of stuff, but always has time to put something together and if you for look our at, great parades. If you look at this flow closely, I mean, there's always something moving on it. We're not talking about the, the humans. Of course, they're waving, but look at the back of it. They, the strawberries and the cows. And as we move along here, we've got the Nepalese Society of Vancouver Island coming in, and they are dancing, they are moving. And again, looking great in those beautiful colors. Now they are, and it's a club that, uh, that's belonging to all Vancouver Island Nepalese and people from other communities who love Nepal and unique cultures. They promote Nepal and the land of the Himalayas. Nepal boosts as many as 100 ethnic groups and 123 living languages in that great country. And we're so grateful that they're represented in our parade, one of a number of amazing cultural associations and organizations that take part in the parade every year. 
And here comes Pirate Chip <laughs> Morgana storming Ooh. Douglas Street today. Built by the Millers and Sessons family, supporters of the Variety Club, Boat for Hope and Esquimalt's Buccaneers days. Oh my gosh, they look great. They were last in the parade way back in 2006. <laughs> Honorary crew members, Captain Morgan, John Molson, Sam Boca, Jack Daniels, and the mascot, Lucky. Oh, we're so glad you're back. It's great to see you. And Buccaneer days was a great success in Esquimalt. It's so amazing to have all of these great events back. We've been so desperately missing them these last couple of years, and it's just wonderful to be together with everyone and is see everyone celebrating the fact that we can be together well, again. Look how good this pirate ship oh looks, Stacey. And look how much fun they're having. <laughs> is that a bottle of Yo-Ho-Ho -Ho and a bottle of rum being passed? It's a little early. <laughs> they're having a good time. Wow, look at that. You have to think that this is going to be one of the front runners for best flow. I oh, mean, look yeah. at the, the detail on the side of this thing. <laughs> as they come by trying to, don't get us wet. <laughs> and off the back of the Morgana, a big sign. I'm not sure if you can see it. Thank you to all our frontline workers. So thank you, Pirate Ship Morgana, and all the pirates storming Douglas Street for that. That was a lot of fun. And looks like we have one of our great local cab companies rolling in here. Yeah, a convoy of yellow cabs, I'd say. Their largest taxi company in Victoria. They have over 70 hybrid electric cars, conventional taxis, and six wheelchair accessible vans. They are owner operated just like we are at Check. So if you need a cab, you can download their app. I thought for a moment there that we were, were going to get sun when Jeff and Ed were over on the ju judges' table. It, it felt like we were going to get that break in the clouds. I mean, it is, it's not raining, which is great. A little bit over, of an overcast sky, but I think it's going to open up here in a little bit. Well, I think conditions, as I said before, considering the spring we've had. Yes. I think there's You're no, very, no yeah. complaining to yeah. be done about, uh, about the weather here today. So, of course, we're celebrating Queen Victoria on this Victoria Day long weekend. Did you know that she was the first ever queen on a, or she was on the first ever stamp? The first ever was stamp she? had her picture on it. And she was the first royal to live at Buckingham Palace. All right, well. Oh, here we go. This will be our third marching band. As Stacy mentioned earlier, we've uh, been missing some of our friends from down south just because of COVID and the price of gas. And who, we don't need to get into all that, do no, we? No, let's but, just listen. But we've got Abbotsford, the MEI Middle School Screaming Eagles Marching Band. Yeah. Let's have a listen to this. that goes into getting everybody lined up, marching in time, playing uh, the right notes, and mm -hmm. sounding good. I mean, that takes that takes months of practice to get it all all dialed in. And you know, maybe it's because I'm a mom myself, but I, I get such a kick out of watching the parents who trail behind the band. You know, they're the ones that get <laughs> the kids, get the gear, get the unis, yeah. get them all sorted and, <laughs> and set up. Oh, and they love to do it, I know they do. But you're right. You're right about how hard. <laughs> That's my favorite hat of the day, right there. It's a great looking hat. <laughs> great looking hat. Well, next up, we have 
the Victoria Harbor Cats, who are gearing up for the start of their season. Boy, they've waited a long time to play some baseball. Uh, one week tomorrow, Stace, Tuesday, May 31st, the Port Angeles Lefties will be in town, and that will mark the official return of Harvey the Harbor Cat and the the great baseball players of this this city. Oh boy, we're looking forward to that. Uh, such great entertainment from the Harbor Cats every year, and it's just, you know, there are a few things greater in a summer on a summer evening than going to the ballpark, having a hot dog, watching some good baseball. Something to wash it down with. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and look at this. Uh, we've got we've got two teams, two future rivals walking <laughs> together. We've got the Ooh, Nanaimo. Oh, so thank you very baba, much. We've got you. the Nanaimo Night Owls who will yes. make their debut in the West Coast League this year. And there is Curtis Belche <laughs> in the Harbor Cats vehicle there. Hello. How are you, Barb? Good to see you. Good to see you, Harvey. Baseball back in the capital city again. Tickets still available Tuesday, May 31st, the first game back, and it's the Port Angeles lefties in town. Take care. Happy Victoria Day. And if you want to get tickets, go uh, go online, harborcats.com slash tickets. Uh, we'd love to see you out at the ball game. We'll be back with our live coverage of the 122nd Thrifty Foods Victoria Day Parade after a short break. to the 122nd Victoria Day Parade. Thank you to everyone watching. Happy Victoria Day. Stacy. we want to give a big shout out to all of the residents at Glen Warren Lodge in Victoria who are gathered around watching the Victoria Day Parade. Thank you to everyone at Glen Warren for joining us today. Hey, everybody. Glad you're watching. We're taking a look at the Victoria Filipino Canadian Association. It's a registered nonprofit established way back in 1969, promoting the cultural values and traditions of the Philippines. is run by hard-working, dedicated volunteers. There's over 5,000 Filipinos in the greater Victoria area, and we're so glad that some of you have turned out to represent your association with us today. Big shout out to Christy Morrison watching from Lake Cowichan and her son Dave. They're enjoying the parade, the very best, the best parade ever, they say. And Brenda watching from Little House in Cobble Hill. She loves the marching bands and the horses and wants to thank 50 Foods for getting involved. And Jesse Crawford says her husband's from Atlanta, Georgia. He's watching this Victoria Day parade for the very first time. Thank you, everyone, for keeping the memories alive, she says. Well, I see some dancing going on in front of the judges table there. I'm wondering if we can hear any of the music. I'd love to have a listen. Again, we'd like to thank the City of Victoria and the Greater Victoria Festival Society, great partners in bringing you this broadcast this evening. And I understand uh, Ed and Jeff have something going on on uh, the route. Yeah, we're so happy to have people from uh, all over the country uh, watching the parade. Carol is actually from Ontario and joining the parade. Where are you from, Carol? Right. Port Dover, Ontario. Only two hours out of Toronto. Nice. How are you enjoying this parade? I love it, but I watch it with you two every year because I watch Jack at home every night at 8 o'clock our time. So this is how I keep up with all the activity here and all the wonderful restaurants and events that you go to so I know what to do when I come here. Uh, give this lady a $20 yeah, bill. Go. Where's I mean, that, come uh, on. Where's, where's that money? Come, come on. on, Carol. Yeah, thanks, Carol. Yeah. Well done again. Up or down. Oh, there you go, Carol. The punch Carol. is just not what it used to be in the upside. But <laughs> 
wonderful. That's we the transfer on that. my bus to take me to there Sydney. There you go. We appreciate you watching. Thanks, Thanks for Carol. watching, Carol. <laughs> Another paid for endorsement. <laughs> We also want to mention that we are coming to you live right now on Check's new streaming service, Check Plus. It's free to download, free to watch. You can get uh, our newscasts, all of our Check content, and you can watch uh, live events like the one we're bringing you today, the Victoria Day Parade. And this is the Falun Dafa Association of Vancouver, also called Falun Gong. It's an ancient form of mind-body practice originating from China, now popular in over 100 countries worldwide. Stacy, but as we sit here and watch this, it, it's just so nice to, to feel like things are back to normal once again. You know, how long has it been since we've been able to do something like this, to be out with the community, 50,000 plus people all together doing something as a community? It, it just, it's kind of in the back of my mind as we watch all of these parades roll down Douglas Street today. It said, it's been a while since we've done this and it's special to be back out here. It is, and you know, I, I think, I feel a little bit like we've taken these events for granted in the past that they were always going to be mm. part of our lives and part of our our experience and being here in victoria but you know what we missed it so much really and it did. is so so great to be back together again and i think we have all realized just how important these gatherings are in our health and well-being and, and uh fitting that we talk about health and well-being when we're looking at the fallon Dafa association here it improves mental and physical health through gentle exercises. Now that's, I like the sounds of the gentle exercises thing. That's the only exercise <laughs> I do. Based on the <laughs> principles of compassion, truthfulness, and tolerance, and what a contingent they have brought to this parade today. As we say farewell and thank you to the Falun Dafa Association of Vancouver Island, we look down the street and here comes BC Transit. BC Transit was just awarded from the Greater Victoria Chamber of Commerce one of the best employee awards in our region. So BC Transit is a proud member of our community and they are once again proud to be part of this great parade. And I believe, Stacy, that Jeff uh, and Ed, uh, how did they get, did, now did they pay for the bus fare or did they just jump <laughs> yeah. on? That's what I want to know. Well, Ed gave up that five bucks, so I don't know if he's got the bus fare. <laughs> That's yeah. the issue right now. Of right. course, I forgot my wallet. Yeah, just busy doing the uh, wallet Macarena here right now, and it looks like uh, Ed's going to be stuck with a couple of bus fares again. Well, thanks for letting us off the hook on yeah, that, Jeremy. Yeah, thanks very much, Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy's giving us a free ride. Gas is, what, about eight bucks a liter, so <laughs> this is the way to go. Yeah. 
Well, BC Transit, it's great to see them in the parade. Of course, they've done a great job of being in this parade uh, with their buses all cleaned up and shiny. And this one looks uh, particularly great today. So uh, it's great to have uh, BC Transit represented in the Victoria Day Parade. Can you slow down a little? I'm getting bus sick right now. <laughs> The question is, will they let them off the bus, or are they going to be riding that thing all the way to Belleville? Well, the wheels on the bus are going round and round, Joe. <laughs> nice shot of aerial roofing as they fill in behind BC Transit here, and aerial roofing have been uh, a business here in, on the island for 34 years and counting. It's been a long time. They're a proud supporter of are great local sports teams and community events. And uh, if you need to improve the look of your home, you can give Ariel Roofing a call. You see the number right there. And we just also as well saw some representatives of Odd Fellows Victoria. They're a fraternal organization founded in 1745, raising money and volunteering for lots of local charities. It's also amazing the size of some of the floats this year. Like in some years, they're very small, few people, and it seems, and it's great, that they have really brought together their entire team. I mean, look at Ariel Roof, and you have to think, most of their members are out here today as they take up multiple floats, a lot of space here on Douglas Street, and it's great to see. I mean, nobody's in a rush here. It's great to see so many people from each of the different organizations out. It sure is, and I feel like there's a pent-up energy that's been uh, been held back the last couple of years, and now it's just pouring out, and we're so glad because we're benefiting from it all. And this next group is one of my favorites, Joe, the Fiesta Latina Folklore Dancers. Hola! They look so beautiful. A showcase of Latin American folklore through the art of dance. We saw them at uh, Cinco de Mayo on the upside. Yes. I'm pretty sure their purpose to share Latin culture and pass on these traditional dances to future generations. They've been dancing here in Victoria and surrounding areas since 2013. Just gorgeous, gorgeous. Want to give a big shout out to Patricia Paul watching from home. She's watched for many years. She's remembering the Sandwich Sun Dancers run by Chief Hummingbird. Him and his family walked in the Victoria Day Parade for many years. And Jim Gordon uh, was born and raised in Victoria. He remembers watching the parade with his two sisters, his youngsters. They love Smokey Oki. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Jim. And thanks for all the partners who are allowing to, us to bring this broadcast to you. Once again, the City of Victoria, Jaw Properties, Sunbelt Rentals for our bird's eye view of the parade, Helijet for our marching moments, and the Joan Wallace Driving School Roving Cam that's following along with Ed and Jeff, as well as, of course, our title sponsor, Thrifty Foods and Downtown Dental. All right, looks like we're going to have a bit of a play here. <laughs> Uh-oh, there's been a fumble on the parade route, and they've got it as we say goodbye to the uh, the Fiesta Latina folklore dancers. Okay, so let's see if they're going to set up a play here. No. Nope. Oh, maybe a little Hail, Hail Mary. <laughs> Beautiful. And this is Lucky to Go. Following the football players here, Lucky to Go is a homegrown ride hailing and shuttle service. They also offer an airport and ferry terminal shuttle service. Lucky to go committed to our community and helping you get around. And there are some members of the Victoria Spartans football team there along for the ride. This is Education First, an international language campus. They've been uh, set up since 1965 all around the world, offices in 50 countries. Uh, they've had a campus in Victoria since 1952 on Blanchard. 50 countries involved here to help students from over 100 different nations study at one of 40 language schools. Their new Victoria campus is on Blanchard Street. <laughs> yeah. 
It's <laughs> sorry, I'm laughing because I said that they've been here since 1952. That's their address. <laughs> uh, there you go. Okay, Education First operating since 1965, located at 1952. Blanchard, that makes a bit more sense. Oh, My apologies, boy. folks. Oh, and here is another fan favorite, Joe. It's something that the parade lovers look forward to every year. Helmet Head Canada, led by Muppet Man. Of course, they provide toys for kids in island health hospitals all year round. They collect toys at different locations across the island, and uh, you can just... Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I gosh, these guys these are guys. so yeah. great. <laughs> Catch up with these guys on their Facebook page if you want to find out more. <laughs> I love the Muppets. Are you, too, are you too young to know what the Muppets no, are, no, Joe? No, I know the, <laughs> no, I know the Muppets. I, it, every now and then when you're driving around town, you see one of these guys, these men and women with their with their helmets on, and it brings a smile to your face. I mean, it's hilarious. If you're, if you're driving around and you look out your window and you see someone looking like this. This is that one of the helmet heads. Can you tell us quickly what you guys do? Uh, basically, we collect, uh, we have toy drives, collect to toys for Island Health kids. It's all fun. We put smiles on people's faces uh, because of our, you know, well, health, good for you. Covers. Good for you for doing I'm, I'm hoping we can hear you. There's a lot of volume, a lot of uh, motor volume and band volume behind us, but thanks for being a part of the parade. No problem. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Now let's catch up to those guys. Okay. Hang on. Let's go. Hold on, Ed. Hold on, two hands. Whoa! This is Harmony Drumline. They're marching drumline. Parrot diddling all the way from Soup, BC. You can find out more about these drummers at harmonyprojectsouk.ca. See, but I'm working up a bit of an appetite and some Barb's fish and chips would really hit the spot. Ooh. Who doesn't love fish and chips from Barb's down at uh, Fisherman's Wharf? They've got burgers. If you haven't had their chowder, I highly recommend the Barb's chowder. It's very good. And of course, you need that famous chocolate chunk cookie. 38 years Barb's has been around. What a legacy. Speaking of legacy, here's uh, the Capital Region Female Minor Hockey Association, Greater Victoria's home for female hockey. They host recreational and competitive teams all ages, a ton of programs for beginners. They play at all the local arenas as the Victoria Reign. Go, Rain, go. Good job, girls. I love that name, the Victoria Rain. Oh. Hockey is so much fun, and it's so great to get uh, girls involved in this. And they're always looking for new players. Players are eligible for awards and scholarships. All the coaches are certified by Hockey Canada. It's just a great organization. Up next, we have the Victoria Taiwanese Association. This is a not-for-profit in our community that assists Taiwanese integrate into Canadian society. They also promote understanding and friendship and enhance fellowship among all their members. We're so glad to have the Victoria Taiwanese Association with us for another year of the Thrifty Foods Victoria Day Parade. And keep those great comments coming. 
I want us to say thank you and give a big shout out to Nessia Silva, who is watching right now from Brazil. She says, I love Victoria, BC. Tina's watching from Esquimalt. Uh, we've got Michelle watching from Sydney All Care, where all the residents are watching. Hey, so everybody. a big shout out to Sydney All Care and Cassie, who's enjoying this parade from Saanich. Thank you to everybody watching right now on Facebook, on YouTube, on Check Plus, and of course, <laughs> on check we're so glad you're here with us and it's hard to believe it's gone by in the blink of an eye but we are nearing the end of this great parade there's some of our great great community partners at thrifty foods and ed and jeff guys well yeah here we are at the title uh, you know sponsor of the, the thrifty foods 122nd victoria day parade and it's been outstanding. Oh, it's been great. The, the faces on the kids is what I love year after yeah. year, the way they light up. Um, the fans were fantastic. The floats were good. And you weren't too bad to work well, with. Well, you know what? To Thanks be very honest much. with you. I got to be frank with that. A couple of near-death experiences. <laughs> my life flashed before my eyes on the motorcycle jump. Yeah. And it was all in black and white. What does that mean, I wonder? I know. Well, it's it's you're out of the cushy uh, chairs that Stacy and, and Joe right. have, but they've done a great job today. Well, we did get this from the uh, Harbor Cats. You know, they're handing out double bubble gum. And people may not know this, but most of the jokes on the upside are Come courtesy from... double bubble. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the parade as much as we did. Thanks so much, guys, doing? and we have to mention the Capital City Baptist Church, who we saw go by there just a few moments ago. Thanks so much for being with us. And uh, If you're wondering, looking at that, that buggy in the back, you're probably thinking, boy, that is one of the largest shopping carts I have ever seen in my life, and uh, you'd be right by saying that because that is Thrifty Foods buggy. You see it there? What a great shot. It is one of the largest buggies in the world, one of the top three largest. You can put inside this buggy, Stacy. 2,400 <laughs> reusable bags, 13 Thrifty Food employees, and 54,000 one-liter milk jugs. It is massive. And almost as massive as Thrifty's community support over the years since 1977. They've stepped up to sponsor the parade this year, and we're so grateful for all the work that they do to support those living and working on Vancouver Island. see behind this great uh, massive thrifty foods float this is the more from the Victoria Korean Community Association and all the colors and music and it's always nice to see at the end of the parade it always feels like everyone sort of files in at the back as a, a finale to this great event truly a, a community initiative and it's so yeah. great to be back with you uh, bringing you live coverage of this this tradition on the South Island. And again, a great shout out to Kelly Curta and her team, the Greater Victoria Festival Society, and all our great sponsors. Again, Joan Wallace Driving School, Helijet, um, the City of Victoria. Downtown Dental, Thrifty Foods, and we do want to give a shout out to Dennis Galiski and Adam Lang from the City of Victoria for giving us power. Joel Properties for letting us set up shop outside their great building here on the corner of Pandora and Douglas and all of the judges and all of the volunteers who make this possible. You can't pull off a parade like this and you can't do it for 122 years without volunteers. It's not possible. So thank you to everyone who uh, participated in making this happen. And ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna let the Korean Cultural Association wrap things up for the 122nd edition of the Thrifty Foods Victoria Day Parade brought to you here by Czech. And before we go, we must say a thank you to our great creative genius parade producer, Mike Wallachin, who marks the end of a brilliant career with the 24th broadcast of the parade. Michael, we'll miss you so much. Thank you, and thank you all for watching on behalf of Ed, Jeff, Joe, I'm Stacy Ross. Thanks so much for being here. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful Victoria Day. Thanks for being with us. Happy Victoria Day. Good job, guys. <laughs>